So, if it's not been more plainly obvious before, I'm a huge fan of Toy Story, especially the characters. Woody, Buzz, and Ham are terrific, but my personal favorites are the aliens. Why? Because they could have easily been annoying side characters, and they're not. They're funny, and this is a huge credit to Pixar's excellent storytelling abilities. They play pivotal and important roles for the entire trilogy. Speaking of which, there are going to be spoilers to the trilogy, including the third one. But if you haven't seen them, hurry up and watch them. Anyway, the aliens came about when Toy Story was having trouble getting off the ground, and the story team were having a brainstorming session along with some folks from Disney. They were discussing what should be in the claw machine that Buzz hops into at Pizza Planet. Originally, there were going to be pizzas wearing sunglasses in that scene, which oddly brings to mind the souvenirs in the earlier Pixar short, Nick Knack. Finally, Andrew Stanton hit upon the idea of there being claw worshipping aliens in the spaceship, and Chris Sanders quickly drew up a sketch. What is it with his ability at designing adorable, oval, head-shaped creatures anyway? From that first scene, the aliens quickly established themselves as claw-worshipping zealots who view the device above them as an instrument of selection, so to speak. They were also voiced by Pixar story man Jeff Pigeon. And even after they leave Pizza Planet, he's still funny, though his fate isn't quite as cheery. Anyway, around the release of Toy Story, the characters started appearing everywhere, the aliens included, even on television in these funny spots that aired on ABC's Saturday morning block. When Toy Story 2 was put into production, it was only natural that the aliens appeared, and after seeing the immense popularity they held in Japan, Stanton insisted they were placed somewhere. Originally, they were going to make an appearance in Andy's bedroom at the beginning of the film. But they decide to place them near the end instead, when the toys hijack that all too familiar car we've seen in all the Pixars. And again, it says a lot about Pixar's strong writing team that they actually play a pivotal role in the plot. Following the humongous success of Toy Story 2, and Pixar turned their attention to other projects about monsters and fish, the aliens still continued to make their mark in the Disney universe. In 1998, a Buzz Lightyear ride opened at the Magic Kingdom in Orlando, which involves you riding in the aliens' actual vehicle, and they make multiple appearances throughout the attraction. The aliens also played important roles in the Saturday morning animated series Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, as they are essentially the real folks in charge of the Space Ranger Station, building their machines and helping with missions on occasion. They also connected by the Unimind that puts all their minds together and is brought to them by a claw. You also get to see the Homeworld in the Adventure Begins video that served as a pilot to the series. In 2008, the aliens appeared on the Disney Cruise Line production of Toy Story the Musical to sing this very infectious song about the claw. Meanwhile, at Pixar, the aliens and the rest of the gang we know and loved in our childhood will return for what will be the biggest and best film of 2010, Toy Story 3. This time, they would appear through the entire course of the flick, from the opening sequence to the grand finale, and they still proved to be their usual funny selves. However, this time, their appearances in the previous two would all come full circle. The worshipping of the claw and the saving of Miss Potato Head would come together in the most suspenseful and scary moment of Toy Story 3. How does Pixar do it? I mean, think about it. If the aliens hadn't seen the claw as a deity or saved that spud's life, well, that would have been the end of our childhoods. It's also an example of the aliens taking control and reversing the situation so they command the claw, or maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. I don't know, but we should be thanking those little three-eyed aliens. For one for them, well, let's just say all screen rooms across the world will be more flooded with tears than they were before. And that is why I feel the Triclops aliens are the best characters in the Toy Story universe. They're funny, adorable, manage to steal the scenes of their co-stars, and are responsible for Woody and Buzz not melting away before our watery eyes.